right. I know when the push alert happens, my watch buzzes at me. It's always a, a nice, good <laughs> indication. Good morning to anyone who has already joined in. Uh, anybody who got on a little bit early, right at nine o'clock, thank you so much for tuning in this morning. I'm sure you were tuned in to Wake Up Wisconsin earlier and during our cut-ins. And now we're just gonna hang out for a few moments, wait till other folks hop on. That push alert just went out. In fact, um, if you don't have our app downloaded, it's a great way to get push alerts throughout the day. If we have breaking news or breaking weather situations, we have our news app and our 27 Storm Track weather app. Here's the thing, they're free to download. And that 27 Storm Track weather app, it's my go-to for radar because you're gonna get the, the same picture that I get when, when you're trying to see what the conditions are right in your backyard. Sometimes I know we're guilty on the air of looking at a big general picture, but when you have that app in the palm of your hand, it's a perfect opportunity to really zoom in and, and see how things look maybe right in your backyard or a little closer look at where that precipitation line is if we're looking at snow or looking at rain. Also has temperature, wind and travel conditions. So again, the 27 Storm Track app, our news app also. You're gonna get fun push alerts. I always say good morning to you every morning as a push alert too. So you get a special uh, hello from me to start off your day. That's always nice, right? That's a good thing. <laughs> All right, I think that uh, we've waited just long enough. Hopefully some folks have been able to hop on and join us. Good morning if you just are hopping on. Let's go ahead and, and dive into our radar actually, if we can pull up those boxes. I wanna start with a, a look over the last three hours. So this is really what we've been tracking since six o'clock. We had a little bit of a, a dry slot there over Madison, over Eastern Dane County and stretching down to Janesville. That dry slot kind of hindered our snow accumulations early this morning. We're sitting at right around an inch and a half to two inches for much of Dane County. Some isolated spots in Western Dane County might be sitting closer to two and a half inches at this point. Here's a look at our clouds and radar right now. You can see the area dealing with steady snow across southern Wisconsin. Now temperatures hovering close to 33, 32 for much of the area. So I was actually talking with meteorologist Alexis Clements a bit ago. She's been out and about all morning. I've been inside this nice warm studio. She has been out in the snow and in the slush. And she said uh, that at times it almost sounded like grapple or sleet was hitting the windshield. And I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case. If we do have a little light mixing happening with this, I'll actually switch over to our Doppler radar now so you can get a little closer look here. I think most of what's falling from the sky is snow, but since temperatures at the surface are just a little bit above freezing, if not right at freezing, we could have some light mixing, some light sleet or some light grapple mix in with this snowfall. So snowfall total so far this morning, as far as our radar estimates are concerned. We'll take a closer look at that right now. It does look again like most of Dane County is hovering close to about an inch and a half to two inches. We'll let this low. There we go. That light blue that you see across the area, that's that one and a half to two inch range. But the dark blue off to the west, that's an indication where we're already seeing over three inches of accumulation. Again, that's a radar estimate. Having folks on the ground with a ruler handy, that's always a, a better measurement of what we're actually seeing, especially in some of our rural spots and lower lying areas. It'd be nice. So if you have a ruler handy, if you're watching me right now and you're on your phone, you can take a phone and a ruler at the same time and march outside and give us a nice accurate snow measurement. Stick that in the ground and, and see what we, we have currently because that snow currently just going to continue to add up throughout the day. We have more snow on the way through the morning and this afternoon, some really heavy stuff later. But before we dive into that in your future track, meteorologist Alexis Clements is actually outside right now. As I mentioned, she's been out in the slush, the brave one this morning. I do want to toss it over to her just so she can get a little closer look at our current conditions. Alexis. You guys are probably seeing me right now. And Dana, you know, Dana just said, yeah, go outside, measure. It is pretty brutal out here. I am not going to lie. You're going to have to bundle up quite a bit. I think this side of my face is a little numb just because of the wind. Uh, that snow is definitely picked up. We are in Mount Horeb right now. Uh, so we have traveled. You can see that uh, that roads really did uh, deteriorate as we moved out of the capital from 151. And these side roads uh, have not even been touched yet. So it, and it is only going to get worse from here. The morning commute we were on all morning long and things were pretty okay uh, in Madison, except for those side streets. Now, here's that snow picking up. We're expecting this to kind of stay at an intensity, maybe even heavier through the rest of the day. Um, 
I don't know where my ruler went. It might have gotten lost in the snow or something. So, um, Noah, our photographer, if you want to follow me, I'm going to sacrifice a finger. This is not an accurate representation. Use a ruler if you can. Also, a lot of drifting snow here kind of up against the curb. Let's see how tall it is based on one singular finger. Oh, wow. Okay. So like, I also have very small hands. This is not an accurate um, estimation here, but it was all the way past my uh, my index finger. That's probably like two, three inches. Do not do this though. Please, please send in with a ruler. I don't, I really don't know where mine went. It, it genuinely might've gotten lost uh, in the snow or something, but um, also drifting snow out here definitely feels a lot cooler than it actually is because of the wind uh, data. So uh, yeah, that's what we are uh, dealing with here out and about in the elements. I'll go ahead and uh, send it back to you for uh, any updates. <laughs> Alexis, thank you so much. It's really bold of me to suggest that you should go outside and measure when you're right. She is the one actually out in the snow and in the slush right now. Uh, let's go ahead and look at our future track so we can see what Alexis is going to be dealing with for the rest of this morning. Right now we have steady snow across southern Wisconsin and that is going to be the scene through the rest of today. You can see this really doesn't change up much. In fact, as we get more snow on the ground, it's going to help cool us down a little bit. So those areas where we're flirting right around 33, 34 will settle back closer to 32. It's going to help add to those accumulation totals later on today, early this afternoon, really noon to four. So just before that evening commute, for those of you who did have to head into work today, that's when we're expecting the heaviest snow to come in. You can see that deep color, almost a, a deep indigo popping up on our screen right now. Good indication that we're going to have heavy snowfall rates that coupled with our winds. I think it's going to make visibility uh, pretty nil, pretty uh, not in a good spot for us later this afternoon. That heavy snow comes through during the evening commute. And unfortunately, I think that evening commute, it's going to be much worse than what we saw this morning. This morning, our rural routes and residential roads were already in a really slick spot. And then we saw a little bit of improvement along the belt line in 39 and 90 things getting plowed and cleaned up, but we have a lot more snow on the way. So areas that haven't been touched or are usually last on the list to get to, they're going to be at a really sticky spot later on today. This takes the snow out of here later on tonight, really after midnight. So it really sticks with us throughout the day on Tuesday. Once the snow clears out, our winds also expected to die down. Here's the good news. I do think we're going to get a break on Wednesday. It won't be a clear sky, but at least it'll be a dry sky. Cloudy skies expected for us on Wednesday. Overall accumulation totals. The forecast hasn't changed much from what we were talking about yesterday and this morning. So really lining up with what our team has been tracking for the last few days here. Seven to nine inches for central, uh, much of central southern Wisconsin and areas a little southeast expecting a little bit more areas northwest a little less. But you've got to travel pretty far northwest to see those totals fully taper off winds right now. Sustained winds in the teens with wind gusts close to 30 miles per hour throughout the day. It feels a little blustery outside. And speaking of outside, we're going to send it back over to meteorologist Alexis Clemens, who's actually out in the elements in the snow and in the wind right now with a closer look at what's actually happening on the ground. Alexis. Yeah, I can conf confirm uh, <laughs> blustery is the word to describe what we're dealing with right now. Um, genuinely, the right side of my face is numb, uh, but I will go ahead and say I do not recommend going out right now just because of how cold it is. Snow is still coming down, but hey, kids, if you have a snow day today, maybe tomorrow, perfect packing snow. I mean, this is great. You can just roll it and get a snowman started. I'm also very tempted. I would love to do a snow angel right now, um, but I'm afraid then I will lose feeling uh, in other parts of my body. So I'm not going to do that, but it is extremely cold out there. I would really uh, recommend uh, staying, staying inside if possible. If you have to shovel, uh, I mean, we're, we're expecting more snow very soon. I mean, you know, it's continuing to come down for the next several hours. So any shoveling you do now, just know that you're going to have to do more later. We do have several inches on the ground. Now I am in Mount Horeb. Uh, if you're just joining us now, um, very, very cold. Uh, yeah, I really don't think, yeah, it's going to take some time to get some feeling back into, uh, my right cheek here. But uh, it is very cold out there. Um, th we are seeing road conditions worse, and especially the further you move outside of the capital from what we're seeing here. We do have a lot of accidents out there. This morning's commute wasn't terrible. It wasn't 
great by any means, um, but uh, conditions are really expecting to, uh, we're expecting them to only uh, get worse from here. So I'm going to give it back to you, Dana, because yeah, I really, um, that wind is very brutal on my cheek and my feet are now also numbing, even though I have three pairs of socks on. So I'll send it back to you. We're going to head back uh, to Madison for more coverage later. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Alexis. So you noticed there, she brought up a good point, mittens, socks. You saw the hat, you saw the headband, a nice thick parka. Right now, temperatures are sitting in the low 30s. We're about 32, 33 degrees. So this is heavy, wet snow falling. It's also very windy outside. So the pink numbers that you see on your screen right now, that's our wind chills. Wind chills sitting about 10 degrees colder than our actual temperatures. It feels much cooler outside than where our temps are at and the wind expected to continue to stay strong through this afternoon. So if you are the one in charge of shoveling or snow blowing or snow throwing your driveway or sidewalk, make sure you are all layered up. Make sure whatever you're wearing is also uh, waterproof. I have a nice waterproof spray that I, I use for my snow pants and my snow jacket uh, with this heavy wet snow. Just a little bit of time outside walking through it it's it's gonna it's gonna soak you pretty quickly we do have a winter storm warning in effect for today if you're just now joining us i want to circle back to to the highlights here that winter storm warning goes until three o'clock wednesday morning so overnight into early wednesday morning that really lines up with when we're expecting the snow and wind to back off that is due to the heavy snow we're expecting and our high winds accumulation totals lining up already this morning with what we've been forecasting for we've picked up about an inch and a half to two inches for much of Dane County and Rock County areas to the west we've already seen a little bit more parts of Vernon and Crawford counties picking up over three inches three and a quarter that snow continuing to build east and it's going to sweep across southern Wisconsin throughout the day with heavy snow arriving this afternoon so total accumulations today in that seven to nine inch range for Dane County, much of south central Wisconsin, leaning on the higher end of that range. Area southeast expecting a little bit more. And if you go to the northwest, just a little bit less, but you really have to travel far north before those totals taper off. This is an event that's covering most of our area. Along with the snow, we have these high winds. So sustained wind speeds have been in the mid to upper teens. Wind gusts, though, in the 30s across central Wisconsin. And that's going to continue until our overnight hours into early Wednesday. Here's a look at early Wednesday morning. I'm going to fast forward this just a bit to daybreak on Wednesday. You can see those wind speeds backing off, those wind gusts backing off. And that's as the snow leaves leaves our area sets us up for a cloudy sky on Wednesday and that's going to be our opportunity to get things cleaned up. Here's your warning. You're, you're going to want to take advantage of that cleanup time because I do think that we're going to have a few more opportunities for snow before we get to the weekend. A few more measurable snow chances. Right now we do have light snow across our area. Some of that a little heavier in spots. We did have some dry slots earlier this morning. In fact, it does look like right now just outside of Janesville, my friends in Edgerton, we have a little dry area overhead. It's a good opportunity if you have to run out to catch the mail or if you're trying to get the dog out really quickly and don't want to get wet. Take advantage of that because we do have more snow on the way. Those of you already deal with that snow, you know, Dodgeville, Plain, uh, Reedsburg, Portage. We have snow coming down right now. Overall snowfall totals so far this morning still hovering around. We'll go ahead and go back to that uh, radar estimate for us. Still hovering around right about one and a half to two inches total for Dane County. Currently some isolated areas might be a little closer to two and a half. Same goes for Rock County, but that deep blue. Let's take a closer look at this here because we're starting to see those colors pop off to the west. We have around Bosco Bell and Prairie du Chien some areas in that six to in six to uh, 12 inch range already. So picking up over six inches for us just along the Mississippi River. Those colors starting to pop. So an indication that we've already seen six inches of snowfall just outside of Prairie du Chien. This is right along Highway 61 and Highway 18. In fact, let's go ahead and take a look at our traffic conditions right now. We'll get a little closer look at how those roads are looking in the areas where traffic or where that snow has really been coming down. I'll pull up our traffic map in just a second. There we go. Right now, Dane County, a lot of green popping up, but notice off to the west, Iowa County 151. We are seeing significant slowdowns and delays. Same goes for Highway 18 and Highway 61 right now. Prairie du Chien, Bosque Bell, that's the area where we've already seen totals creep up a little bit closer to about six inches or just over six inches. 
One more traffic note I do want to draw attention to for those of you tuning in in uh, the Jefferson County area. It does look like 18 is still closed. This is outside of Cambridge. All lanes blocked east and westbound due to an accident that happened about three hours ago. That crash causing delays across the highway east and westbound. So the alternative route here hopping on to Highway A and then getting on to Highway 12 to avoid that. You can stay on 12 heading east and westbound if you're heading into Madison or if you are heading back through Oakland or towards Jefferson. So traffic conditions right now along the Beltline starting to slow down close to Middleton. The interstate looks like it's sitting in a pretty good spot for us so far this morning, and that's kind of been the tune so far this morning. We've had our major arteries sitting in a good spot, but those rural routes, the residential areas, we are seeing some slowdowns there, and I think that's just going to compound as the day goes on as this snow builds in. One final note before we wrap things up off to the west, we're already seeing those totals climb close to six inches, just over six inches near Bosco Bell and Prairie du Chien for much of south central Wisconsin. We're hovering around two inches, but those totals expected to climb today. So stay warm, stay safe. We will hop on at 11 with the latest updates and we'll hop on the live stream again as conditions warrant.